Thank you for giving to CMS and for praying for CMS during this coronavirus pandemic. As I give you a global glimpse of the CMS family this week, I want to share a thought from Sarah Yanis, a mission partner in Malaga, Spain. She said, when we give the little we have to God, it can make a big difference in the world. She shared stories from the Bible of a widow who gives her two small coins to God, of a suffering woman who touches the hem of Jesus's cloak and gets healed, of a boy with loaves and fishes, but it put in the hands of Jesus can feed thousands. The verse that's been coming to me time and again this week is, be kind and compassionate to one another, from Ephesians 4, verse 32. Sarah herself has been involved in a food bank for many, many years, feeding regularly hundreds of families. And yet now there are 260 more families who are asking for help. Limited resources, huge needs. Another story from the Middle East is where some Christians have just been baptised at Easter and they're living back with their Muslim families. But uh, pray for their spiritual sustenance during this time of lockdown when they can't meet with other Christians. In Latin America, Brazil has the third highest infection rates in the world. The hospitals are barely coping where there is provision. It's the same in Peru. And when they tested food vendors in the central food market in Lima, Santa Anita, 79.9% of those vendors tested positive for COVID-19. There's a great fear of underreporting and for the pueblos and favelas of Latin America to be seriously affected by COVID-19 infections. One good story is, is Steve uh, Poulsen from Honduras. He's taking food parcels into the vulnerable in a poor area where the government's only managed one food distribution in nine weeks. Anna Sims, who's working with foreign women in prisons, has been helping some of those who have been released early to find accommodation and food before they're able to fly back to their own countries. In Asia, Asia CMS's local partners in one country have been supporting people with disabilities in several areas. And alongside that, other local partners have been trying to provide food for those in remote areas. One local partner said to me, we, we've sent 50 food parcels to three different locations. That small amount of food went a very long way, but made a big difference to the people that received it. In Africa, things are still extremely challenging. The, in Tanzania, uh, there's no serious lockdown and people are wor worried that Tanzanian drivers will take the infection into other countries. I heard one story of mission associates who have been very entrepreneurial in getting an oxygen machine from South Africa into Malawi, into Blantyre. That fresh air of uh, oxygen, that desire to bring the life of God to those people that need it at this time. I heard another story of a local partner in Uganda who's been serving uh, the poor with parcels as part of CMS Africa's outreach. She met one woman who used to collect plastic bottles in Kampala and uh, sell them at a depot to feed her children. Now she can't do that. And the local partner just gave out of her own resources, the little she had, she gave to this woman because she had compassion on her. Another woman in Kenya who's also been severely affected by uh, the floods that have happened recently is still trying to help other people. And she says, kindly pray as we bless people with one or two meals. And I would just ask you, whatever you think you can do, at this time, do, do, do that. Remember, even the little we have when we give it to God, can make a big difference in the world. So let's remember this week to be kind and compassionate to one another, both in the UK, but also around the world. 
where people are suffering at many different levels. And I pray this week that the God of all compassion, the God of all kindness, will be with you. Amen.